YouTube, Zach here, hashtag world's fastest shingler, hashtag veteran construction, hashtag siding, hashtag uh, exterior home remodeling, hashtag roofing, siding, soft and fascia gutter, demo decks, remodel. I'm prepared to talk about all of the above, so shoot some questions at me. Um, I know the number one question you guys are going to have is where have I been? Um, I'll get to that after I got a few more people here. Looks like I've got all of one so forget to hit that like button we got two people now um yeah so yeah that's what oh, 13 okay and the likes are shooting up appreciate that um i don't there we go thanks michael appreciate that you show up a bunch i think you added me on snapchat too hey guys <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, I guess let's just dive into it. You know, I'm out here. I'm ready to come back. You know, I've been gone for a little bit. I'm out for blood, even though I'm newly found vegan. Actually, I still eat some meat sometimes, but whatever, you know. Salads for me, mostly salads. I eat them and toss them, so what's up? Don't take that one to heart, Michael. <laughs> but, uh what's up Emmanuel uh, yeah I won't stop videos man I just went through a little break in service you know but I'm uh, we got a big roof we're getting back to roofing tomorrow we've got if you guys watched I've got a couple videos I have a three-part series on the Heritage Court Apartments it's like a 45 square roof in Crown Point big one um, I've done another one prior to that, so we've get, we've done two buildings so far, and we're knocking out two more this week. So I've now got four of these Heritage Court monster little 44 square buildings. So I'm pumped. I'm pumped to be back at it, get a little sun on this face. I'm excited. So we're gonna see what kind of shit show. I should wash my mouth. Someone had said something, but see what kind of shit show it's gonna be tomorrow. None of us <laughs> are in roofing shape at all. We haven't done a single roof since December. So. How much do I charge a square for roofing? Oh, I'm over here grabbing the mouse on my computer. Let me see if I can... I'm going to make this all messages visible. There we go. So we had some price increases. Honestly, I haven't quoted anything this year. I've had... There's a couple jobs that I was getting to... Wasn't able to get to last year. And I've got them lined up. And I've had to kind of change my price around a little bit. Um, I've talked to a lot of guys... I know there's a guy in Pennsylvania. Um, I talk to him on YouTube sometimes, but uh, or maybe Philadelphia. I don't know where the hell that guy's from, but uh, we were pretty similar in price. He was always a little higher than me, and he's pretty much won't negotiate below 400 right now. So um, I imagine that I'm going to be pretty close to that. Last year, I usually wouldn't go below 300 a square. I'll probably be not below 350 maybe 370 even this year i don't know i've got to i've got to work in the numbers i I've, I've checked my shingle prices i know we're about to get another one another raise in price but uh it didn't seem that bad to me i mean i know you know accessories and everything pretty much went up across the board but i don't really care i'm out there sweating with the boys so i'm making money i'm not i'm not really too worried about it i don't know why these messages aren't just staying up like they show up for a second happy easter as well man bear pig man okay okay how much sales do i plan on doing this year i don't know to tell you the truth i've got the better part of 150,000 in work lined up already to get us through april and maybe even some of may i'm getting ready to go to mexico nice little vacation um here next week so we'll see about that 450 ish sure sur cervix a lot that's I'd love to be there, you know, but uh, I don't do a lot of insurance jobs. You know, I mean, they've been kind of stacking up. I'm terrible at paperwork, so I really don't even mess with them too much, to be quite honest. I just, I still haven't got paid on, I don't know if you remember uh, some of my last roofing videos, if if not exactly the last roofing videos, when we were doing these, like, duplexes. I haven't been paid on two of them. We did three duplexes right there in one area. I haven't been, paying on two, been paid on two of them, so it is what it is. I mean, I just put one bill. I had forty thousand dollars. I got it up to fifty-seven. I submitted this paperwork four or five days ago. I can't get anybody on the horn to tell me 
you know, get the argument going. Try to give them the, you know, give me that pirate pay. Gold teeth and rum. See what, see what the job's really worth. Am I working towards being less on the job site? So I definitely planned on getting to this. Um, we got some people here, 32 here, and only 12 likes. You better start smashing that like button, you know. I'm getting, I'm, I'm trying to get back onto the jobs because I have been off them. So I've been off the jobs a lot. Honestly, you can probably look back at my videos and find a giant dip in about a year ago in my video content push. Like I was doing the better part of a, a video a week, sometimes more, and occasionally every two weeks. But I mean, I was pumping them out pretty regularly, and then I just stopped. I we we got a job that just took way too long. Is it right in prime time of roofing? Right. It was like it was like May or June, and we hopped into a uh, roofing siding soffit fascia gutter job and it was on a cut up old valpo house the one i actually built the dormer on so the roof part went fine and then i think we came back like two weeks later or something and started the siding i basically showed up to that job every day at eight and then i left after i pointed some fingers got some started going yes no blah 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 and i went and golfed i golfed almost the entire summer so i mean i i would pretty much anytime we were on roofs i'd come and you know hang out and everything but I've been off the jobs and yes I'm absolutely working towards like getting off them but it sucks because in order for me to make videos like I don't like building that thing in my backyard and doing that like that's okay I can get some good stuff out I can get some good stuff out to you guys like that but you know I feel like you guys really appreciate the on-site stuff so I mean I'm kind of at this weird little position where you know, it makes all the sense in the world for me to be off the jobs. But in order to get you guys the content that I've always wanted for you guys, I've got to be on the job site. And I got to, you know, I got to look for these things. You know, I mean, almost every single job, I can point a camera at something and, and find something that's worth talking about. You know, make a nice little 10 minute video. It's really my goal for the channel as well. Just 10 to 20 minute videos. All right, let me scroll back up. That was a good question, Scott. Thank you. My favorite shingle, HDZs, baby, GAF, all day. 5.8 OSB, that's insane for $48. This, these lumber prices are insane. When I started, when I started my construction company four, four-ish years ago, it was under $2 for a two by four. They're above, they're, I think they're above six now where I'm at. Plywood was almost $10. It was in the nines, I wanna say, for a, a regular sheet of 7 16 OSB. And last I saw, they were in the 20s. Somebody told me they're up to 30 now. So that's, come on now. How are we supposed to, how are we supposed to deal with this? That's, that's insane. Yeah, pay does take forever on the insurance jobs. You know, it is good and it's something I want to get into. I've met with some PAs and stuff and I've got a whole different perspective on insurance work recently, you know. Um, you know, I've never been like a door knocker. I don't push insurance unless there's obvious damage on a house. And that's typically when I do insurance. But yeah, I mean, it pays great. And as long as you can get the insurance companies to pay you roughly what you deserve, then we're good. I mean, I, I don't really know if I'm gonna use PAs or anything like that. Uh, I've got a new girlfriend who is actually um, doing PA stuff. She wants to be a PA and all that, so I don't know. I mean, it may be something that I get into to get a little more money, you know, but it, it, it's really about the money that I deserve because, I mean, I'm out here, I've been doing work cheap, cheaper than what I should for a long time. And it's really, I've been able to make money because I've been there sweating with everybody, just horsing out, you know. But, it, you know, I want I want a big office and I want a big warehouse and things like that. And I, I just don't know if I got the heart to be charging those kinds of numbers to homeowners because I know these people are coming out of pocket just like if I need my HVAC done, which I do here, you know, I'm going to come out of pocket for this stuff. I mean, obviously, you see nothing's finished. Really, I've spent most of the last year, to be quite honest, staring at this drywall or a lack thereof, just thinking about my life. But here we are, uh, you know, back and ready to go, I hope. Uh, the house is as I just mentioned, not coming along so well. I've, so here's what's happened. I've been spreading myself super thin. So as you guys know, I'm not just a roofer. I'm not. You know, I do a lot of siding, soffit fascia. I 
did a lot of framing for a while. I'm not great by any means, as you can tell. Like I definitely know what I'm doing though, and um, I've spread myself thin. I've I've got my I've got the crew. I'll tell you what, Boy Cub's come a long way. Boy Cub is a killer right now. I gave him a nice little healthy raise. I literally let him name his price. Happy to do it. We're working on bigger, better things. Um, and I've got a crew where I've taught a lot of guys just from the ground up. They didn't know anything bad coming to me, for the most part, most of them anyway. I've got one guy at the moment that is a little bit, um, you know, homegrown in many other places, I'm sure. You know, has some bad habits we got to get rid of. But I... I haven't needed to be on the job site and I've managed to, I should have spent more time here working on this, but I didn't, you know, so this is coming along pretty shittily. So, um, I've got the electric done. I've got all the plumbing done. The last thing I need is the HVAC and the guy's supposed to be here Tuesday. Pray to God. I've done everything I possibly can to get somebody in here. I've had four companies out. I mean, I just can't get anything at a decent price and so, uh, it's probably going to be that I have to pay. If this guy backs out on Tuesday, I literally, I'm not even going to look at the price of the next guy. I'm going to say, if you got it, send it. I, I just don't even care at this point. But once that's done, it's quick. That's that's electric, plumbing, HVAC. That's all I need inspected. He might look at a few other things. The inspector's real cool over here where I live. He's going to give me the okay. This thing will have drywall up in no time, and we'll get to put in, uh, you know, get that kitchen in. I'm going to get the master suite done upstairs, which I built. Uh, you guys can see that video. Um, so I'm going to get that going fast because I want to enjoy that sweet shower I'm going to be putting in there, custom poured pan and everything. I want to enjoy that for hopefully only a month or so before I sell this. But um, I actually probably need to be waiting on a little bit of money to come from some insurance checks and another flip house I'm in. Um, one of my buddies who uh, he's in the, the vent video I made where you add an existing... Uh, a vent to an existing roof he was in that one he's taught me most of everything I know um, not really but yeah anyhow he is in a situation and now I'm basically financing a flip for him he's doing all the work we're gonna split some some healthy money with this where this market is and uh, I'll use a lot of that to fix this so that's how the house is coming along thank you for asking hi Ridge handyman you've been around for a long time I really appreciate that so Uh, Sam, that's a good idea. Every 30 days, submit a new invoice. Charge them. Hell yeah. What's up, buddy? I am located in Northwest Indiana. So, how much do I charge for each shingle blown away for a repair? So, typical repair. Like I just did one for like 120 bucks. It was like, I guess Boy Cub said it was like six or eight shingles. And I've done like two or three repairs for that guy. And I've kept it short just because I know he's going to give us the roof. It's due because he's just high nailed everywhere. Shingles are unsealing. So, you know, he's having that. And he's uh, working on the insurance thing right now for that. But, I mean, a typical repair, it you should be around two or 300. I mean, it depends how many, how much shingles you got to buy and pitch and things like that. But a standard, standard repair, two or 300 bucks will do. Especially if it's cash, then you guys know the rule with that. Oh, Sir Vixlot, you're a PA? Cool. Email me, man. Let's talk. I love, man, I just love picking brains on that kind of thing, man. Is 5 8 the thinnest I should go on a pitch and flat roof doing a flip myself? I don't know if you need to even be that thick, to be honest. You're going to want to check your, like, local code in your area kind of thing. I'm, I don't know what, what area you're in or anything like that. Honestly, I don't even know what it would require over here. I'm not doing any new construction, so I'll be matching existing, to be honest. So take a look at what's there. Put it up. Playing golf all summer. What happened to the hustle, bro? I've been hustling for a long time, man. A long time. 35, maybe 35 years. I'm only 30, but you know what overtime does. I've been I've been on a move, man. I feel like, I don't know, man. I, I accomplished not nearly a lot or what I want to do, but I, I really did accomplish a lot, and it... It uh, it kind of messed with me. And some other things messed with me, man. I'm going to be real. There's There were some things that happened over the last year I haven't really been taking well. So I'm trying to get back into it, you know. I'm a warrior, you know what I'm saying? You take the warrior out of the stadium, but you can't take... You know what I mean? I'm a warrior, so something like that. Yes, Boy Cubs here. 
Thank you. I love your work too, buddy. IKO, cervix a lot. Please elaborate why you'd be an IKO guy. I never understood that, you know. Um, I'm just going to be real. I'm no shingle expert. I've laid, I've laid an IKO before. Seems like an okay shingle, to be quite honest. But for me, it's... For me, it's always been Landmark, GAF, or Owens Corning Durations. And, I mean, as far as I know, those are the more expensive shingles. Those are the more bought shingles. And I, I mean, that's all my old boss ever put on. If we put on anything cheaper, it was by request. You know, I, I need to hear some info on stuff like that. But I, that's not it for me. I, I just... I just like to lay GAF. I mean, I, especially the HDZ. That that is a dream shingle for me. Honestly, I've I've looked at it. I've laid it. That to me is the best shingle. Period. GAF HDZ. How do I find? So you're a subcontractor for a roofing company. So for one, uh, Zane, you need to get out on your own, bud. I get that you're on your own. And it's tough finding reliable employees, but you got to make the jump, dude. These, I, I have never met anybody that pays well enough for me to like make a living. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a general contractor that'll pay well enough. Don't get me wrong. They're out there. Um, my old boss works for a board up company and he gets a lot of insurance roofs off that and he gets to charge what he wants, you know? Um, but nine times out of 10, these guys want to give you a set wage that's well under a hundred a square when you got workman's comp and you got you know all this all everything that comes with the business it's hardly worth it being a sub to me so i honestly i would like to see you get out and do your own thing as far as getting you know i'm not going to knock you for what you're doing i don't want to tell you what's right and wrong so sorry if i did that out of place but um yeah so whatever but uh finding reliable employees that's tough and that's why I built a lot of guys from the ground up and that's why I'm gonna take care of boy cub because I got taken advantage of bad and that turned me into the monster I became you know and and out on my own so uh, you can start somebody at you know your regular old labor wage and you'll know within a short amount of time if they got it or if they don't I recommend putting time into them um, whatever it is sending them to my channel if if you know like you're going to let this kid shingle here in the next month or something, you know, send him, send him to a couple videos that you like to mine. If you want him to see a valley, my valley video is not really not that great, but you could send him there, find some other ones. Uh, I root for building from the ground up. As far as just finding a good guy, that's tough. I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be honest. I don't know that answer on finding just any old good guy. They want to, you know, they want more money than you can usually afford and they bring a lot of bad habits, even though they're good. And to tell you the truth, where I'm at, they're almost all alcoholics or have drug problems. Anybody that's worth a damn is like that. So, yes. How many guys I got right now? So, as of right now, I got my brother who's working for me. Uh, so, we got half a man. <laughs> but, uh, no, I got my little brother, Nate. He's He's working. Boy Cub, Ben's here. Boy Cub and Ben are two OGs, the little originals. Um, I got another guy, Mike, who is, uh, he's good. He's come from another company and uh, he knows his stuff. So I got Mike and uh, me, and then I've got a new guy, Caden, and we're gonna brood him out on his first roof tomorrow. We're gonna test that manhood. Um, yeah, order HVAC online, get someone to hook it up. I offered the guy that's going to do it on Tuesday to, can I go buy all the stuff? What do you need from me? I've tried to do everything I can to get this thing rolling, but it's all, you know, we've got a good working relationship, him and I. I mean, shoot, I did a whole garage siding stuff at Fascia and gutters for him, as well as some door and window stuff. That was when I wrapped the, uh, that was when I wrapped that door with the brick mold. I did that job for him. He hasn't paid me a dollar on that. I haven't paid him on any of the electric or plumbing he's done here. You know, we just kind of go back and forth. I borrowed a dump trailer, things like that. So um, we got a good working relationship. I'm, I, if he says he's got it, I'm going to let him. I'm going to trust him for now. And we'll see what happens. I almost literally taught myself HVAC. I was like, I might as well just put the damn time in and learn this at this point. I mean, I've talked to multiple people about what needs done. I was ready to just spend a couple days researching and call people with questions, anybody I can. 
Um, Home Advisor leads. Home Advisor apparently has a pretty bad rap. Uh, I use them. That's what helped me get my uh, my company started. Shout out Valparaiso, Mike Hartman. Um, but yeah, honestly, I mean, let me just show you one example. I had a lady who called me with a, an insurance claim already gone through. It was a giant roof, 55 square, 712, probably 35 square of it, and then there was some 1412. Um, a lot of peaks and valleys. You can actually see a picture of it. It's like the purple roof on my YouTube channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that was like a $25,000 roof after insurance. And that same lady called me back, and I did a basement remodel for her in winter from January to March. Big old mansion, huge basement remodel. That's another $60,000 job just off of one home advisor lead. I had an $80,000 job. You're going to get that every time? Absolutely not. You're going to get that every three years? Probably not. But it happened. I mean, there's, I mean, there's uh, one, my first ever job that I did. It was a side job, really. I was advertising on Home Advisor when I was still employed. Um, my first ever side job was for a lady named Pam. They turned out to have a lot of rent rental properties. I've done four roofs and a siding job for them. So, can it pay off? Yeah. Have I looked at my Home Advisor leads for two years, a handful of times? Have I given them probably sixteen thousand dollars in that amount of time? Yeah. Did I lose money in that amount of time? Most likely. But if if I get my head out of my ass and, you know, called them numbers that keep popping through, it is what it is. I just had a lady pop through for, I guess, vinyl siding. I didn't even know I was paying them for vinyl siding. I recognized her name. I'm like, why didn't she just call me directly? I was so pissed off. It was 120 bucks. But they do good. I mean, hard to turn them off. But if you if you call everybody and you're on time, you try to call them first. You're going to make money on it. Good luck getting them. You know, you might have to cancel a card number or something to get them charges to stop. <laughs> What's the minimum per hour? I don't know. Uh, depends on your area, who you're asking, and what the company knows. I'll tell you what. If we get to 100, I'd like to, I'd like to do this formula soon. Um... Uh, I want 100 people in. Actually, I want 30 likes. Get me 30 likes right now, and I'll show you guys this formula. Come on. Start smashing that button. You, you know what? You guys should be subscribed, too. I know a bunch of you ain't subbed. Get that 30 likes. Come on. I know you're close. I want you to unsub and then sub again after this because someone told me that would help. <laughs> I haven't posted in forever, so it's my... There we go with the likes. All right, so check this out. I am so ecstatic about this formula, guys. There is nothing, there is nothing more stressful to me on a siding job than trying to pick staggers. Because if you've ever done a lot of vinyl siding, you know, you may have a wall and you guys just pick two foot on two foot staggers, right? And the guy Mike that comes to me, I asked him, I said, what does your crew do? He said, we do two foot on every wall. Okay. Well, what happens when you do this two foot stagger and you got a variable wall lengths? I mean, no wall is ever gonna be the same. And all of a sudden you get on that, that you know, fifth step back all the way back and you put a full piece of siding on and it lands this short of your corner, corner post. You can't, you can't cheat that piece over. You can't do anything with that. You're forced to then cut a piece back, fake it, fake a factory, do all this stuff. Is it allowed? Yes. Is it, can it be avoided? Absolutely. And I've managed to do that and I'm super ecstatic about this. I'm very excited. Um, so let me just show you guys. I, I'm going to do a whole video I'm gonna to try to make one of my most well-organized video. I mean, I'm literally gonna write down everything that I've been talking about, uh, everything that I plan to talk about, and show as many examples as I can. I think I'm gonna take down a wall of siding on my garage just to kind of maybe move a piece of J channel along the wall to uh, use an example here. Um, but all right, let me flip this camera around and then go for it, okay? So check this out. This, let me try to zoom in here. So this little thing right here, Right, you see it wall length and stagger. Sorry, I'm all, it, it's on one leg, so it's gonna be a little shaky. I got hyperthyroidism, I just found out. But, uh, so check this out. If you got a wall, let's say 448, you just hit enter. Now this is inches, right? The reason it's inches is, I forget why, but I figured it out. You gotta do inches, okay? Boom, you hit enter, it changes. Now I've got these asterisks here, because if you put three pieces of siding together, it equals 444 inches. So in this case, 
that means your first piece on the bottom will be four inches short of the wall, okay? So when I put an asterisk here, I put a little key. Now this is gonna show up on my website. I put this little key right here. And it says you can never use a full siding or full piece of siding as a starter on your bottom row. Okay, what that means is you can use any one of these staggers, but you're gonna have to chop, let's say you choose 20. You chop 20 inches off the, the whatever side is going to the corner post, right? You chop your 20 inches off, that's gonna be the first piece that you put on the bottom hooked into your starter. You're never gonna put a full piece on as your beginning piece on the wall. Okay, as long as you do that, you'll always be okay. Now let's just take a regular old number. Let's take, you know, 740, oh, oh, what am I doing there? Okay, 745 for example, boom, it's gonna change. Let me see if I can find one, cool. Those are also asterisks, let's just go to 800. Most of these aren't asterisks, it just happened to fall in. Let's go 840, oh, whatever, 830. Let me, I'm trying to show you guys something else cool. Damn, hold on, this is, I spent a lot of time on this part right here. So let me see if I can get it to show up. Damn, let me just think of one. Hold on, it'll be like, it'll be like 314. No, not even. 325. There we go. Okay, so you guys know the finisher starter method, right? Where you, where you put on your pieces of siding. In this case, it'd be two full pieces of siding. And then you would have roughly 28 inches. I put it right there. Roughly 28 inches to your corner. So when you, cut a, when you cut your finisher in, you cut it off of a full piece, you've now got 128 inches or something, or 122 inches left over on a full piece. Well, you send that down to your beginning. I wrote down right here, it's gonna create a 20 inch stagger because you can also use all these numbers on that wall. All these staggers will work. You see, none, none of the 20, 22, 24, two foot wouldn't work on this wall. 26, they all wouldn't work. All of these higher numbers are working. So on this wall, you can pick 28 or you can just do finish or starter and it would be more scrap efficient. It's a, it's a whole other thing I haven't quite thought about yet as far as how to bring you guys that information. That was probably a little sloppy due to my excitement that I just finished this today. Um, but I'll make it well thought out and less confusing. Let's see what you guys are saying about this, by the way. Let me just go down to the bottom. Maybe clean the lens, sorry. Body does weird shit. Oh, you guys are talking about my hyperthyroidism? Come on, get off that. Gun of choice. Damn, you guys ain't even talking about this thing? I've been to Kentucky, yes. But anyway, whatever. I thought you guys would be pumped about that. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one. All right, anyway, let's get back to them. Uh, I'll make a good video for that really soon. Because uh, I want I want that to be very detailed so that you guys don't screw that up. And I mean, you guys can literally go around and measure from corner post to corner post. Write down whatever staggers work on every wall of your house. And not even have to think about it. Just all, all you had to do was measure it. Type in the inches and hit enter. And it would tell you exactly your options. And you could, you could at that point probably pick maybe even one number that works around the entire house. Or let's say, for example, 30 shows up the most times. Maybe 28 is the highest number you can get on another wall. That's going to look like you have completely uniform staggers across your entire walls. So on every on every side of the house. Um, so that's what that is. Let's see. Where have I been? I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. I know I briefed on just generally what I've been doing. I've been having my hands in a lot of things and spread myself pretty thin so you know I've been around uh, Brad was working Brad was working at my house yesterday um, so yeah he still kind of works for me I'm not gonna have him on the roof tomorrow but uh yeah I mean we're still tight we still uh, we still chill he said happy Easter today so my go-to meal on the job well honestly I haven't worked since I've been trying to eat better. Um, so I don't know. I'm probably gonna bring a salad tomorrow and see if that holds me over. Maybe some protein shakes. I've been working out a lot lately. Let's see. Is it bad I'm gonna be roofing at 16 years old this summer? Hell no, dude. 
Hell no. That's awesome. Now, I would recommend doing some of that, but as a uh, beginner's trade, if you can learn carpentry, take that. Take that. Just take it. That is the best base, in my opinion. I feel like if you understand carpentry, if you understand the ins and outs of building a house, that is going to be your best base to kind of basically get into anything else. There's not a carpenter I don't know that doesn't know how to side a house or at least half ass way roof one or hang soften and fascia. You know what I mean? So um, that's my recommendation. But as far as just doing roofing this summer, that's awesome, man. We had back, back when I was employed, my old boss would have his brother-in-law come and they would come for about 16, 16 years old, 17 years old and 18 years old for about three summers in a row. They'd come, uh, he'd bring his two buddies or whatever. And we had, we had some cheap little labor. These guys are gunning and ready to go with that, uh, that high school blood. You know what I'm saying? So they got to learn a lot and they got to make a bunch of money. They were making, they were making 12 cash working five, six days a week. You're taking home, you're taking home 600 bucks a week. Sometimes, you know, all summer, it's a good gig. Have I adopted boy cub yet? Uh, paperwork still with the lawyer. Sorry about that. To be determined. Takes me about two days to figure out whether they are going to cut it. Uh, I lost you on the text there, Sir Vix, a lot. Sorry, but I uh, don't do Glenwood. I uh, I think that's a different kind of thicker shingle or something, man. Not my not my thing, man. Can you repair repair two by six floor joists without consulting structure engineer? Probably, but I don't know about your area, man. I definitely did it here. They were two by eights and, or two by ten floor joists. I did it. I didn't consult nobody. Let's see, what's my gun of choice? I love the Bostitch. I'm a guy. I'm a Bostitch guy. He says he uh, was a Bostitch guy. Now he loves Dewalt. Interesting. Let's see. Got a real Rico Suave look going. No, I don't. It's put on a dress shirt, man. What the fuck? Excuse my language. Sorry. The, this guy brought up a point that he watches his uh, my videos with his kids sometimes. And I, I went off on a cussing ramp, rampant the last time that I made a video. So it made me feel terrible. I need to definitely clean up my act a little bit. Make it a little more family friend, friendly. Yes, I do got hyperthyroidism. Uh, Sam, I'll try to find your comment. Let me know what you've been doing to make a difference. So what I've done, what I've done to make a difference, uh, my level was below 0 0.01. A normal level is between 0.4 and 4.5. My level was less than 0 0.01, which is virtually, I guess, an unreadable level. I had managed to make some changes and get it to read a 0 0.01 that actually registered as that. And what I've done so far is I have 100% been eating better for a, for a long time, at least back then when those results came in, I was still eating occasional garbage, uh, less, less of that now. Um, I actually am truly more towards a vegan diet. I do eat a lot of like salads and like bean burritos and things like that. I'm really trying to get healthy. Also, I want to look good on this vacation, but, um, I've, been working out a lot, and um, so I've been doing a lot of kickboxing and jujitsu as well as lifting. So I've been doing a little bit of everything, and uh, I quit tobacco since the first of 2021. It really wasn't just like a New Year's resolution thing. Uh, it just happened to kind of fall there, and it was maybe a little bit of an extra push to truly quit. What happened was one of my guys, I always am trying to quit always trying to quit tobacco. One of my guys um, had a little revelation and said he didn't want to smoke anymore. Um, he's just, you know, he does smoking. He didn't want to smoke during the work day. So only while he's relaxing at night. And he's like, do you want to do that with me? I'm all for it. If I ask somebody, hey, would you do this with me so I can quit? I'd expect them to say yes. I would do the same for anybody. So I said, hell yeah. Well, I only made it till noon. So what I did was I 
realized I made it through the hardest part of the day, right? I didn't chew tobacco until noon. So I said, if I can just do that every day, that'll help. And sure enough, it did. Before you knew it, it'd be two o'clock. I wouldn't even have had a chew. It'd be four o'clock. I wouldn't have had a chew. A whole work day would go by. Um, never really made it a full day. I would always, sometimes I go through a full can at night, but I didn't do it during the day. And then eventually it got to the point where I was strong enough to like fight the urges. I got rid of that. So help my hyperthyroidism a little bit. I'm sure it definitely makes me feel better. Uh, I don't really have the shakes as much anymore and caffeine too. If I do tobacco and caffeine together, I shake brutally. You guys can go back and watch videos and see that I shake like bad. Anytime I get the camera, it's ugh. you probably just see, but, uh, yeah, I don't do caffeine anymore. And that's helped. My camera is not a potato. Doesn't it look good right now? Or was that when I had it turned around? That was when I had it turned around. I'm out of Northwest Indiana. Yeah. Charles Viner. Can't wait for that video, man. I cannot wait to make it for you guys. I literally feel like a little mad scientist inventor. You guys got to realize like not to toot my own horn or anything, but I am literally the only person on the planet who's not only thought of this, but was able to create it. So that's super exciting to me because not anybody can create this. There's no like math guy that can just pop in and create something that works for siding. He doesn't understand siding like I do. He doesn't understand, you know, the maximum or the minimum and the maximum length of a finisher or a starter or uh, your staggers, um, how your numbers change when you get to a window. This is all stuff that somebody like me has to think of. So like you guys have no idea how pumped I am to bring this to you. So it's giving me this newfound little energy. Um, let's see here. My favorite underlayment, felt buster, sticky, sticks when wet, lays easy. It's four foot tall, 10 square rolls, lays fast. I love it. Um, and on the steeper ones, like if you got an eight or something, I'm probably going to try to switch to the GAF tiger paw this year. Cause I, I am familiar with it and I do know that you stick a little bit better to the tiger paw. So that may help on the eight twelves. Um, we should also be strapping up a little more this year. I, you know, I should set a better example, you know. Did I have a drug problem? No, I've never had a problem with drugs. <laughs> Not saying I never did any, but I never let it be a problem. No. I don't like flat, flat roofs. Let's see. Would love a video about ridge cap and multiple hips. Yeah, that one you gotta wing it, man. I don't even. I, if I just made a, if I made a video about that, I wouldn't even know. Charles, I've been doing protein shakes too. That's pretty good. Yep. If you're just over the border, max duty, I can do work in Illinois. It's gotta be on a weekend. You know what I'm saying? Um. Sean Patrick, I'm just reading that one. Um, I want to say thank you for thanking me. So you guys, every time I post a video, you make me feel so like missed and relevant. And uh, it means a lot to me, guys. So thank you all for that. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. You guys need to smash that. You got 82 of you guys in here. Let's see here. Yes, I'm still remodeling this place slowly but surely. Yes, I've shot a pass load. Oh no, not a new, not a roofing gun, framing gun. That's that's interesting. We'll have to see about that one. Your 11 year old likes my videos. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little. <laughs> Someone's neighbor's 300 pounds and keeps inviting him for dinner. All right. All right, these questions are getting a little weak. Come on now, I'll make it awkward. I don't need to be a little awkwardardo up here trying to read this stuff. We need the roof Olympics. Yeah, someone tried to steal that roof Olympics idea, man. They put it 2020 roof Olympics up on their website. Like tried to steal the whole idea. What a move, you know. What a man. 
I went, even went and double checked the dates just to make sure, you know, like the way that they were. Yeah. I was the first one ever to talk about a 2020 roof Olympics and come up with that. And he's over here trying to claim it and build a name off someone else's idea. I want to say so many things right now. GKY is what I want to say to him. Cougar paws. I'm going to try them out. Damn, I caught all the way up to the bottom. Cool. I do want to try out cougar paws. I hate the sticks though, man. Usually I'm good enough at selling jobs to where I'll just, <laughs> I just don't get the sticks. Like I'll just, I'll try to either just maybe not go to them. I'll Google, I'll use Google and look at it first. And I'll be like, I'm going to make up some excuse here. You know, the guys hate them. So do I, but, uh, we'll see. I got it. I do have a stick coming up. I got a nasty one. Uh, it was one I was hoping to get done before last year that I didn't. And that one's got two witches hats on it. So that's coming up. And then, uh, it's got shoot. It's got like a 12, a 10, 12 or a 12, 12. That's like 25 feet off the ground. It's going to be a little scary little triangle, but the rest of it's like an eight pretty up high as well. My thoughts on the building material skyrocketing. I just think it's insane. I mean, I don't know. Y you know, what is it? Is it greed or what's happening here? Nobody should be paying $6 for a 2 by 4 You know what I'm saying? I get like probably COVID shut some places down and they're going to sell. So do what you do, but it's, it's not cool. Caleb, thank you. I'm the GOAT. Uh... To be determined. We'll see. I really would love to prove that. You know. I'd love to get beat too. I really would. If I get beat in it. Like I was excited to see other guys shingle faster than me in the one square challenge. It just kind of shows you different things. And little things that can that can shave, you know, a minute off your time sometimes. I think I, sh I shaved more than a minute off my original time. You know. Even though I was trying harder, I still was probably about a true minute. Just by taking little things. I actually have a new idea that I think could shave even more time. I think my fastest was 610. I think I can get below 6, probably at 5, 545 or something um, with this new thing. Because you guys know I really always open my bundles at the top of my run. I think it would be faster if I did it in the middle. I think that I've got a lot of wasted movement in that. Still, still works well and it's very consistent. But I think I can be a little faster. I'm going to try that out on this roof and, and see if I can get, get the hang of that. All right, guys, I'm asking you one more time to like and subscribe. It's getting a little slow here. I'm going to hop off. Um, I'm going to do my best to uh, start making videos and uh, keep up a little more consistently on how often I put them out. So like, subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for joining me tonight. I had a good time. All right. How do I turn this thing off? Just close. Yeah.